Hi guys, Double Hunter XYZ, and we're back with more Demon Gaze Extra. And, uh, of course, in the last video, I kind of ended it right before the Quasar fight, and honestly, I tried doing the Quasar fight off screen, and I just got easily beaten. <laughs> like, I was not really prepared, so I ended up spending off time like, a few hours. I just kind of did some grinding, leveling myself up, getting some better equipment, and at the same time, just try to, um, well, get some items for our future quests, but we'll get to it later. Right now, I'm going to change up the order. So what I need is, I need RV in the front row, because she only has short-range weapons. Then everyone else in the back. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, so the, uh, the Quasar fight is quite difficult. And it's just trying to get prepared for it. It's kind of the problem. <laughs> but you know, then again, it, it is a post-game super boss, so I mean, it's, of course it'll be pretty difficult to fight. I mean, they're more, they're more likely like different strategies to defeat Quasar. The only good one I really know how to do is just putting most of the, most of the uh, team in the back row using God Mirror to protect them for the most part. And just keep buffing the characters and just finding the right opportunity to do this. Alright, hopefully I'm at a good level. But, um, I don't know. Wish me luck. <laughs> An evil presence surrounds you. Those who crawl the earth, welcome to the throne of God. This temple is for the warriors who were created by the God of Light. But, since they're not here, I've made myself as well. Those who perish bring tears, but there's no need to lament. The new god that rules over all of you. As awakened in this place, he who gazes at demons, go to your eternal slumber. With the image of that god burned into your retinas. Alright, Quasar, who kind of looks like Netflix Castlevania Dracula mixed with Two-Face from Batman. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. Alright, the big problem here is just trying to get a good setup. Because unfortunately, Quasar can do a lot of attacks. So unfortunately, a lot of it's just going to rely on luck. <laughs> If I could just get the setup going before he starts going vicious on me, <laughs> that would be great. Okay, actually, I'm gonna go defense for RV just in case. Uh, God mirror. Then I gotta try to go for divine armor. And Divine Weapon. I did get some different artifacts, too, to try to help me out. Let's hope. Come on, just withstand the attack. As soon as I can get that God Mirror out. Come on. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh, shoot. Come on. Thank you, God Mirror. Okay, uh... Okay, I'm not really sure what, what to really go with at this point. Let's just go with 
Iron Shelf right now. Uh, Iron Shell, Concentrate. Concentrate. I could try Providence. Actually, no, I'm gonna go Concentrate. Really, it's just trying to get the setup going here. No, I'm thinking about it now. I'll do Iron Shell. Demon Rage. Concentrate. Concentrate. Armor. Weapon. My weapon. Let's go. Harvey's taking pot shots, and now she's dead. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Fallen Angel's Bond. Uh, got Godly Core. Mars Bane. Okay, Divine Armor. Divine Weapon. Luckily, the veil, the God Mirror veil, is protecting mostly. Is mostly protecting me. Unfortunately, I can't see the same about my demons here. Shoot! Come on, stop! Stop! <laughs> Get off of Mars! Looking for the right thing, but I can't find it. Think of light. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Fast cast, multi hit. Force break. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose Mars after this. Two things I want to use. God's Tears. I can't use what I want to use. God's Tears, Jupiter Bane. Jupiter Bane. Mars Bane. Cast cast multi hit. Cast cast multi slow. Come on. 
Get off of Mars. There's some pretty decent attacks, anyway. I really power myself up. A lot better than my first attempt in this fight. Okay. Uh, still nothing here that I really need. Okay, Jupiter Bane. Concentrate. I need Fallen Angel's Bond. <laughs> Actually, let me just, let me try this. God's Tears. Jupiter Bane. Concentrate. Concentrate. There's nothing here. Fallen Angel's Bond. Uh, I mean, I'm also just a healer at this point. <laughs> Do fast cast, multi avoid. Just more or less a throwaway character at this point. Okay. Fast cast slow. Okay, refill the demon gauge, that's good. Waiting for the right attack here. Okay, Jupiter Vein. Concentrate. Force Guard. Fast Cast Multi Slow. Falling Angel's Bond. Jupiter Bane. Concentrate. Mars Bane. I guess Holy Shield. There's really not much for me to use right now with Pet Bane. Get off. 
Get off of Mars. Get off of Mars. He's just taking pot shots. That's not good. Come on, get off. Spirit's Protection, Jupiter Bane, Jupiter Bane, Concentrate, Shield, Fast Cast Slow, I think I'm at a good spot, really. Assuming I can keep Mars alive. I go for Kronos. Jupiter Bane, Concentrate, Mars Bane, Shield, Force Break. Any minute now, right? <laughs> I guess. That could help me out. Maybe. God, even Kronos is taking a pretty good amount of damage. here, but go with the uh, Iron Shell 3, Jupiter Bane, Concentrate, Providence, Shield, Force Break. And of course calls for more monsters. That's what I almost had him too, man. Alright. Got his tears. Concentrate. Shield. 
Fast cast, multi slow. Angels Bond again. Jupiter Bane, Concentrate, Mars Bane, Force Guard. Force Break. Still taking pot shots. <laughs> Come on. So it's a good idea to always have Kronos in this fight. Make an impact now? Wow. Shield for that one. I have to concentrate again. <laughs> Jupiter Bane, concentrate. High multi cure. Force break. I get off of. Chronos, please. Why? Why more monsters? Tears, Jupiter Bane, Concentrate, Mars Bane, Shield, Fast Cast, Multi Slow. Jupiter Bane, Jupiter Bane, Concentrate, Shield, Force Break. Okay, 
least I'm mostly making attacks. <laughs> Guess I got his evasion down quite a good amount. Bane, concentrate. Mars Bane, shield, force break. Why does he keep calling more monsters when I don't want him to? <laughs> this is not really a hard fight, but he keeps calling monsters <laughs> at the worst time. Call it Angel's Bond. Okay, keep going. Force Guard. Fast cast multi slow. He's almost there, man. He's almost at the edge. Assuming he doesn't do any more healing, but we'll see. Jupiter Bane, uh, Providence, Shield, Force Break. Good chunk of damage. Oh, finally, Quasar died. <laughs> Hooray! Got my hands on another god hand. <laughs> Oz is up to 48. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point. I don't know, it's just do agility. Quasar disappears into the nothingness. All that remains is an hourglass. You get the golden hourglass. <laughs> Welcome back. We've been waiting for you. Welcome home. It's good to be back. Uh, Promoth told us you defeated Quasar. Hello. Hey, Promoth. 
Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm glad you made it back. You. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. Hmm. <laughs> A lot is going on in the world. Some things are better left unknown. Right. <laughs> when I hear God, all I can do is pray. What's happening? Hey, good work. <laughs> So, where's all the cool treasure? That's enough, you guys. Oz and... Friend takes their hands and things. Harvey, Jerona, Pepe, and Selena. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. There's much more work left to do, but this city will be wonderful. I can probably say that now. So, there's no rent to pay today. Hey, that's good. <laughs> Give me a slight break, right? <sighs> I see. So Quasar was calling himself a god. For a god, he was defeated pretty quickly. Yes. Yes, I think his powers hadn't reached their full potential yet. It's good that we struck now. We need to thank Ares. You're right. Come to think of it. I almost forgot. I have something from your, uh, for you from, uh, from my father. It's a way of saying thank you. The Dragon King Scale. Hmm. Okay. So, did he completely perish? I don't know, but we should be okay for a while. That being said, he lies between dimensions of time. I'm sure he'll regain his power soon. Then I guess I'll defeat him again. Mm. Hmm. Exactly. But in order to do that, you would need to go beyond this world. It's against the rules, but I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> I want I want to make you uh, I want you to make money so I won't stop you. But be careful, okay? I can't help you again like I did at the clock tower. What do you mean? Sorry, I didn't mean to hide this from you, but I told you about the deal I made with my father, right? Well, I too got punished. I can't turn into a dragon anymore. Like, forever? I'm sure it won't be forever. Probably just one or two hundred years. <laughs> it won't cause that much trouble for me. Besides, if I get lost somewhere, you'll come and get me, right? Right? <laughs> right, darling? Okay, defeated Quasar. I got 8,000 gold for that. Trial of God. <laughs> oh. Um, sorry. About earlier. Did you happen to come across an hourglass? If you did, please come talk to me in the basement. I'll teach you how to use it. She, seem she seems awfully well informed with that. <laughs> so what was the, the thing I got? S rank. Dragon King Scale. Huh. I mean, it's actually not too bad. The Dragon King Scale lose after the Sun Miracle. So it has a Sun Miracle effect as well, so... Okay. I think I'm gonna just... Well, actually... Should I go for it? Maybe? I mean, I like the Terra Key. Uh, let's try this out. I mean, I still got like a lot of things here anyway. I've kind of been building up at this point. <laughs> So something else. Oh. Oh, Oz, welcome. Hey. Hey, I want to ask you something. Uh, will you do me a favor? Uh, a favor? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Being short and concise, I need you to find some belongings that were stolen from me. When I first came here, I was all over the place, and a monster stole some things from me. I accomplished my mission, so I thought now would be a good time. So, this is the list of items I want you to gather for me. 
friend hands you a piece of paper. The things I want back list. <laughs> Dress, hair clip, necklace, bra, broom. Don't stare at it. Some of these things are embarrassing. Some of these items have strong magic inside them. Once you've found all of them, please come back and talk to me. I also write it down on the bulletin board. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you bring all these items in your item bag. That means don't, uh, that means don't be wearing them when you bring them back. Good luck. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Stolen Franz clothing gear. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> okay. Well, good thing is, off on my off time, I did manage to grind for all those items. I mean, you can only get those. You can only get France equipment in the God's Eden, and that just requires you to just keep replaying the boss fights over and over until you get your hands on it. <laughs> That's pretty much what I ended up doing. <laughs> Let's see, what the both from force it? Demon Gears to get my belongings back. <laughs> okay, well. Everything back. Uh, put that away. Okay, so I do have everything. Let's see. I got France necklace. See France bra, France clip, France dress, and France broom. I mean, I do have to admit, some of these items are pretty good. I give you that much. They're, they're pretty good. Protects against kidnapping, saves from floors and wall damage. Damage reduction, kidnappings. Yeah. Pretty decent equipment, to be honest. Well, of course, Fran wants the items back. <laughs> but I think before that, I'm going to make, make a quick save. I mean, here's here's the thing. You can use the you can use France equipment, and you can keep it, but th then you won't be able to get the final reward, which I kind of think is worth it. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to give up the equipment. Stolen gear. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for you. Did you get my items back? You tell Fran you brought everything. Huh? What? Really? <laughs> You're amazing. I knew I could always count on you. Anyway, can I get the items that you brought for me? <laughs> Choose to give them to Fran or don't give them to Fran. <laughs> Just giving you one last chance to eat whether or not you keep the items or not. <laughs> okay. Yes, thanks. You give friend her dress, hair clip, necklace, bra, and broom. <sighs> Oof. I got them all back. I mean, I got them all back. <laughs> now, this is my reward for you. Please, take it. The true Demon Slayer is reborn as the Cross Brand. There you go. I took your holy sword and used a few tricks to make it even stronger. Please check it out later. I'm sure you'll like it. Oz, oh, thanks for everything today. Really, thank you. Hooray! Yeah, so if you give away the equipment, she actually will. Yeah, she will rebrand it. The cross brand now. 
Mighty Sword purified with the Dragon King blood for main character only. <laughs> the strength, luck, plus five, KO, ability, anti all. Spell attack, spell defense, special defense. I mean, it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. <laughs> Better stats than what the, the true Demon Slayer is. Alright. Yeah, so the reason. The, the reason for the rebranding is because of this. Well, because of the uh, the golden hourglass. Let me do one more save. Okay. Golden hourglass. What is it? You show Promo the golden hourglass. I thought you would have it. That hourglass has immense powers. With it, you can travel through time. Whoever uses it can go back in time, to the time they were born. For you, Oz, that's probably when you first came to this inn. You will be able to redo everything you did here. Now, do you see why this may be breaking the rules? Like, everything? It's against the rules to take all your experience, knowledge, and belongings. But I'll do something about it. Thanks to you, I've been doing well. So, I'll try my hardest. You'll be able to make many things with you. Or you'll, be able to, you'll be able to take many things with you. Even your party members. Some items might create a paradox, so I can't let you take those. Anyway. Now, what do you want to do? You want to use the hourglass? How about not yet? I see. Come back when you're ready to go back in time. <laughs> okay. So, what we have here is uh, I mean, everything's done. Bolton board's done. Welcome. Everyone's fine. Panay's fine. <laughs> Yeah, just any last minute advice from my friends here. Hello. <laughs> I mean, mostly not. Phew. I just don't remember if they had any last minute things Good to work. say. Yeah, so with the uh, with, with the golden hourglass, essentially I'm able to quote unquote go back in time. By that, pretty much meaning creating a creating a new game plus. It's kind of strange that you have to pretty much complete almost everything in the game just to get the new game plus option. But yeah, the golden hourglass kind of creates the new game plus, and for the most part, you can carry almost everything with you. And this new playthrough, with the exception to any story-related items, so like the, uh, well, I guess for instance, like the, uh, I guess like for instance, probably like the the Aegis Mirror and the, the True Demon Slayer and and probably the Terrace Key and all the other keys. Pretty much, they have to be reset, unfortunately. So it kind of sucks that why I waste of leveling up my Aegis Mirror. <laughs> But that's kind of the reason why you, if you finish that last quest with Fran's belongings and she rebrands the the true Demon Slayer to the cross brand, it, it's basically just to bypass that paradox effect with the golden hourglass. So essentially, I have the power of the true Demon Slayer, but just in a, a different type of sword. <laughs> so essentially allowing me to mostly keep the sword. But at this point, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, but that, that's really it. <laughs> I mean, it was a long journey. I'm not gonna lie, it was a long journey just trying to get back to this spot once again. It took me a little bit less time than my original first playthrough, but it still was worth it. Um, however, there, I think there is actually one more thing I want to show off, but I have to play a little bit more into New Game Plus to show it, so 
give me a sec here. All right. Anyway. Yeah, use the golden hourglass one last time. What is it? Okay. Anyway. All right, so let's let's use it, man. Understood. This is goodbye. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Until then. Be careful. Thanks, Prometh. New appearance is available in character creation, really. The synthesized gear function of the ether mill is now available. Oh, actually, well, finally. <laughs> I was wondering about that last trophy in the trophy list, to be honest. Like, what in the world was synthesized gear mean? Okay. But yes, everything is redone. Redoing it all over again. But uh, I guess to show off that last section with the ether mill, I need to get back to that spot. Okay, so I am at the new game plus. I just defeated Mars up to this point, so what I'm trying to do is doing the favor where I had to fix the ether mill. Hey. And of course, Castle's the only one that can surprisingly do this. <laughs> what? Yeah, so everything's playing out the same way here. No different, no biggie. No. Yes. Shut up. Mm. <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> okay. Thank. Alright, taking the time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Huh. Alright, just everything's playing out the same so far. What have we here? Isn't it fixed? Nah, it couldn't be. Right, Mortician? In fact, it's been repaired too well. Are you serious? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Even all the old functions that... Even all the old functions that have been broken for so long are back up and running. I'm so excited. Miracles like this makes me all tingly inside. Ah, you had me worried there. You can chalk that up to a happy, an ac a happy accident. <laughs> Not sure exactly what the thing does, but I'm glad I fixed it. Anyway, I'm gonna head back. See ya, Oz. Now then, Oz, you can finally put this ether mill to work. What we have here is a magic machine that can grind old, old gear down and reduce it to the base. R reduce it to its base either for use elsewhere. Uh, put simply, it's a device that allows you to strengthen gear. But now, in a stroke of fortune, it has recovered the use of one of its loss, long loss functions, the ability to synthesize gear. When you synthesize gear, you can transfer the bonus effects from one piece of gear to another. And by bonus effects, I mean those effects like fire or anti-spirit or poison that you see on your weapons and armor. Okay. That's... 
Yeah, tell me more about that, actually. Synthesizing gear. I'll try and keep it short. Unlike strengthening, synthesizing gear doesn't use ether. But it does require two other things. The first is a base gear, which you want to receive the... Wait, the first is a base gear that you want to receive the bonus effects. This is where the new bonus effects will be attached. The second is the material as a material gear. A single bonus effect will be transferred from this piece of gear to the base gear. The thing is, the only bonus effect that can be transferred is the inherited bonus effect. If you look at your gear, you'll see the that sometimes there's that there's a gear with a single yellow bonus effect on it. This is the inherited bonus effect. Oh yeah, one more thing. One thing you need to be careful about is that the gear used as a material will be destroyed. Also, you can only synthesize weapons with weapons and armor. But you can only synthesize weapons with weapons and armor with armor. But beyond that, you don't need to worry about the smaller differences like whether it's a sword or an axe. Bonus effects added with synthesis will be added to the synthesis slots separate from the gears other effect slots. Bonus effects added to the synthesis slots can be replaced with other effects later. However, a single piece of gear can have no more than one of the same effect. Also, some pieces of gear will have two or even three synthesis slots. If you come across a piece of gear like this, I recommend using it as a, as a base. By the way, I don't think you've seen any inherited bonus effects or th synthesis slots before this, but you will now. Now that you know that they exist, you'll, you'll be able to see them. So to sum things up, if you want the synthesized gear, you need to have a base gear to add bonus effects to and a, myth and a material gear with an inherited bonus effect. Oh, yes, you'll also be charged for the time and labor, and that's about it. <laughs> that was kind of a lengthy explanation. I mean, I, I think I kind of got the idea. So essentially, it just allows you to transfer inherited effects from one piece of equipment to another, is what's basically telling me. With some restrictions, like you can only do one effect at a time, or depending on how many slots there are, or you can only use one of the same effect, I guess. Okay, I'm sure you'll figure it out on your own. Oh, and one last thing. Okay, same thing here. Good. Okay. All right. So, it's just strange. You had to, you had to complete the game and go into New Game Plus just to get this function. Oh, yeah, there's something else in the bathhouse, wasn't there? You a custom? We don't. Uh, let huh? me see. Line them up. Huh? Hey, my I you. I'm glad. So I. Okay. Oh. Did they say they got different styles on top of this, or? Okay, so they said something about the appearances, so I just I don't know exactly what they meant by that. I mean, I have to go back and re reread what it said, but I thought... Oh, I guess they added some new ones here. Fran, you got Panay, you got Prometh. But I guess they just added some more characters. I mean, everything else is still here. But I think that was just it, to just add more characters. Okay. But let's try this. Synthesize gear. Choose the location of the gear to be used as the base. I got plenty of stuff in the storage. A 
Okay, so essentially the things that are marked in yellow are the inherited effects that I can transfer. Okay. I don't know, let's just say if I wanted to... Let's just say if I wanted to use the rusted sword, I guess. But actually, does it matter price-wise, or is it all the same price? I think it's just all the same price. Okay, to choose the location of the gear to be used as material. So it just depends on what... I guess it just gives you the list of the available effects, or the available equipment that have effects on there. I guess let's just say if I wanted to... I was going to do something simple here, honestly. <laughs> if I wanted to use the Magic Staff with the Intelligence plus one. Okay, commence in synthesis. The material gear will be lost, are you sure? Power of Bonds. And there goes my Platinum, finally. Only took me roughly 80 hours. <laughs> okay. Uh, proceed using this base. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, the things on the bottom just tells me how many slots I can use, apparently. Like, the rest of the sword can have up to three. So that's... That's, that's interesting, actually. But I can... I might, it doesn't work... Well, I guess it could technically work with any weapon, but it just depends on the material weapons. Well, just being able to transfer effects, actually, that's pretty useful, because, you know, there are a lot of... There's a lot of equipment and gear that have interesting effects that you... That seem... They have interesting effects that I wish you could put them on the different weapons or different armors. But this, this could actually work pretty well. Well, it seems like the price keeps going up, though, the more you... Do it? Oh yeah, that's that's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad, man. Alright, I mean I just wanted to show off that much anyway. Um But yeah, I mean that that's really it. That's all there is for Demon Gaze Extra. I think really in the end, it pretty much is like the original game. Not much difference. I I mean I'm I don't know, I'm kinda a little bit disappointed because I I really thought there was gonna be more story-related content, you know, especially with the the Machina class, you know, the, the Chris and Claire uh, dolls. I kind of thought there was going to be more of a significance with that, or at least more backstory with the characters and with the Belger. Or at the very least, I kind of thought there was going to be like an added episode into this, like Demon Gaze 2 had. But uh, unfortunately, it just plays out pretty much the same. I mean, not to say it was a bad game or anything, but... Honestly, I, I'm not sure, I mean, if it's really worth rebuying essentially the same game. But, I mean, it's still a pretty decent game. You know, again, still a challenging game and not really recommended for those who never played an RPG before, but... It's still, it's still a pretty fun game. I, I I would still probably say give it a good shot, and who knows, with the, added, the quality of life changes to it, it might actually be a little bit more enjoyable, who knows. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, overall, I did have a pretty good time with this game. You know, kind of good to come back to it, even though know, it hasn't been that long. But, uh, yeah, there you have it. Alright guys, this is Double Hunter XYZ, and until next time.